Yeah, morning everybody. Here we are back in France, uh, ready for the final push. I arrived last night at about 1.30 in the morning after driving down from Caen once I uh, left a ferry. Took about four hours, got here, as I say, about half past one. Took a couple of hours to unwind and then uh, got up this morning around nine o'clock, so uh, ready to go. And before I say anything else, I'd just like to say a big thank you to everybody who's donated to the Amazon uh, gift card um, and voucher scheme that uh, we have on the site. Uh, very much appreciated, thank you. Uh, money's being put to good use. Also, uh, had a good response to the prints. As I say, we will ship them worldwide. Uh, if you want, I'll sign them for you. And uh, yeah, they're £15 each and we will uh, do them at the same price wherever you are and we'll just convert it into your currency and uh, you can pay by PayPal or bank transfer, whichever is easiest for you. But a big thank you to people who have ordered them as well. So uh, we have one or two other things in the pipeline uh, which may be of interest, so we'll reveal those as and when. So some of the jobs I have to do uh, first before I can even start work is I have to put up a scaffold tower. I've never put one up before. Uh, so uh, I need to do to do the rendering on the wall outside. I bought it off a local marketplace um, site on Facebook, no instructions, but I did have a Meccano set when I was a kid, so hopefully I'll be able to work it out. It shouldn't be too difficult. As someone once said, it's not rocket science. Uh, so yeah, um, that's one of the jobs. I've also got to clear all the rubbish out of the garden, take it to the tip. Unfortunately, the trailer is so full of rubbish where it is, I can't move it and I can't get my car to it either. So I've got to empty that, move it, and fill it back up again. Uh, so I'm going to get uh, that sorted this week. Also, all the wood that's in the corner of the garden, which has been there for two years, that's all going to the tip. Probably chop some of that up as well. I'll keep anything that I think I can use for other projects. So plenty of little jobs to do and then start rendering the walls. Uh, start working on the last few decorating jobs, finishing windows off, finishing off, uh, there's one shutter left to do as well. So plenty to keep me going. One thing we are going to do, and we've been asked for by a number of people, mainly new subscribers over the last month or two, is to do a walkthrough of the house. So we will be doing a video on that to explain exactly what we're going to do. Uh, we won't do it on the sheet, we'll wait until it's all finished and then we're going to do like a reveal of it completed and what have you. So yeah, plenty to keep me out of trouble. So yeah, talk to you later and uh, thanks for watching. Okay everybody, cheers, bye.
Yeah, so that was a good workout first thing in the morning. Uh, managed to get the trailer down, as you've seen, to the uh, gate. Uh, once I'm sorted, I'll hook it up onto the car, reload it, uh, find out what time the tips are open and take it all down there. I've kept these shutters back because I just want the hinges off them, so I'll get those off later and then they can join the rest of the pile over there. So, yeah, I'm going to start on the uh, rendering pretty soon. I'm going to take off the uh, old stuff first. I can't put the new stuff on. I've got a guy coming sometime this week, it could be today, it could be Friday, uh, to put up an aerial for French TV. Obviously we'll have French people staying as well as English speaking people, so they'll want their own TV. So he's going to put that on this wall. So I don't want to start rendering and doing all that for him to just come along and start drilling holes in it and, um, until it's completely set. So, But I will get, make a start on uh, clearing the old render off, which will mean a few more tip, uh, tip runs in the next few days. But uh, yeah, I think I'll go and have a coffee and uh, then start again. Cheers.
Uh, today I'm going to start work on the uh, rendering and the pointing of the outside of the jeep walls. I'm going to do this part here from the corner up until the side of the toilet as a test piece, see how that works out. Uh, and then I, I will do the main part of the house, which I'll come back onto in a minute. I've had a good look around the house and on all corners it shows the cornerstones. You don't see it very clearly just here because of the mess it's in really. And then it's rendered in between. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to preserve the cornerstones because I think they look really nice. And then I shall render the bit in between. I'm using this as a test piece because uh, between this corner and the window and that side of the shutter and the toilet hasn't been rendered. It's just been pointed. Uh, though you can't tell now. So I'm going to do the same and then above the shutter up to the roof and over again to that other side of the upstairs uh, window uh, I'm going to render it. Uh, that's in keeping with what's already here. That's what we've got to do. Personally I would have loved to have uh, done all the Pierre apparent and shown all the stonework but we're not allowed to because of the church next door to us. Uh, so we have to be respectful of that and do the same finish. I'm going to use uh, show, which is lime and sand. That will uh, be in keeping with what's already up there and what's been there before. It also lets the walls breathe and uh, I think it's the best product that I can use. I don't just want to bang cement on there, it'll look awful. So yeah, that's the product I'm going to be doing. Yesterday we had quite a productive day, um, mostly not my doing. Uh, in the afternoon the plumber came, he plumbed in the uh, bathroom sink so that's one big job out of the way which i didn't have to do um, i'm not a plumber i have done it but i'm not really a plumber so i'm so pleased he came and did it for me uh, just going to put the waste pipe in which is what i'll do probably tomorrow we also had the guy from uh, the aerial company come down he put a french aerial up for french tv we have a satellite dish for english tv we get all the free for you channels and radio and everything else hundreds of channels I'm seriously considering buying a cement mixer, uh, they're about three or four hundred euros. I'll probably use it and then I might be able to sell it on afterwards um, because the rest of it is a big area and uh, it would be a lot of going up and down the steps, mixing stuff and what have you. So yeah, I might buy a cement mixer for that. So yeah, we'll get started. I'll take all the old stuff off first and uh, let's see how we go. Cheers everybody. Yeah, so, so far so good. And as you can see, one or two little holes have appeared and what have you. There is absolutely tons and tons of stone, this sort of stone lying around this garden. 
So whoever was here before me and decided they're going to fill these holes, why they use red brick and not one of the stones, I, I don't understand. It's easier just to put a stone in there, which is what I'll do later. What I've decided to do is I'm going to go to the top of the window, somewhere around here on both sides. That side is not so much to do. And then I'm going to fill it all and uh, <clears throat> then come back and do the top once this has uh, pretty much gone off. Uh, most of this, as I say, will be pointing because uh, there's just nowhere to put any render anyway. So uh, I'm going to go and have a coffee. Um, it's probably about half past eight in the morning. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, go and have a coffee, come back and carry on for a bit. I'm, I'm going out later to uh, look at and probably order all the stone that's going in the garden. So yeah, I've got to be somewhere at 11 o'clock to do that. But before then, I'm going to go and have a coffee. Cheers. Well, that's that job done. Um, I've done what I said, I've gone as far as the lintel and uh, I'm going to leave it at that for today. If it's too warm to carry, I'd start mixing uh, some um, lime mortar and sand, so it's uh, just a bit too warm. So I'll start doing that tomorrow morning when it's a bit cooler. Uh, but it's coming out better than I thought it would do the wall, it's not in bad condition really. Pity I've got to cover it all over with the render, but that's what I've got to do. So uh, I went off earlier and order the stone for next week uh, that is coming on uh, a week today tuesday so hopefully by then we'll have all the garden leveled off as well so yeah tomorrow morning i'm going to get up early and continue with this wall and hopefully finish it tomorrow and then i'm going to start on the the main wall and all of that will be on uh, next week's video so as always uh, thanks for taking the time to watch the videos. Thanks for the thumbs up and the comments. If you haven't already, uh, please consider subscribing. It's always very much appreciated. And if you would like one of the uh, the prints that we've done, um, just contact me via the email address that's listed below. But that's it for this video. I shall go and get this uh, edited now and uh, hopefully get it put on uh, this evening. So take care everybody and I'll talk with you soon. Cheers. Cheers.